Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. In today's lesson we're going to solve and rearrange multivariable equations. Now what does that exactly mean? Well you're given some sort of equation and all it has is variables in it, letters. And you are given the instructions to solve for a particular one. Okay? And in this case ours is R and so we want to get R by itself or isolated. So when we go about solving the same rules apply for uh, all equations and so we want to undo or get rid of that multiplying t so we're going to divide t on both sides by doing that we cross out the t's and we are left with d over t equals r now to put it in the correct way we always flip it around r equals d over t and that being our final answer okay all right, here's some more problems. We have AB plus C equals D, and we're told to solve for B. So what we're going to do is isolate that B. So the first thing we always do when solving equations is get rid of the constant or the plus or minus number. And so we're going to subtract C on both sides, crossing that out. And since D and C are not like terms, we can't combine them together. And so we're just going to put D minus C on the right. We have AB on the left. So we want to get B by itself, so we divide by A. Now you can divide A by the entire thing on the right or individually. I'll talk about it in a second. By dividing A on both sides, we cross out the A and we get B equals D over A minus C over A. Okay? Now this can also be written as D minus C all over A. It just depends on how you divide that A, since there's no simplifying that's going to occur in this problem. Either way is okay. Okay, what about this one? Now, we're asked to solve for P, and P is on the bottom here, and so we've never really had one where we had to do that, and so there's a couple ways you could approach this, but I want you to get into the habit of, if you have a fraction on one of the sides, get into the habit of using proportions. And what I mean by that is I want you to put f over 1. Now we have two fractions equaling each other, which is a, uh, a proportion. And we solve those by cross multiplying. By doing that, f, minus, f times p and 1 times n equals fp equals n. And then we want to isolate the p. So we divide by f and we end up with p equals n over f. Now there's other ways you could solve this one, but I think it's a you get into a real good habit of using proportions because there are a lot of problems in higher math where you'll have fractions on one side and doing the proportion really helps you out. Okay, now this one is a real complicated problem. And teachers, I want you to watch this and see if you would do it another way or if this would be the best way to uh, to teach it. There are about 10 to 15, 20 ways you could do this problem uh, to solve for R. And so the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to first start with that dividing C uh, because that term right there uh, is all being divided by C in a sense. And so we're going to multiply C on both sides. By doing that we can cancel out those C's. Now this is what we're, at, we're left with. HC or CH, it doesn't matter which way you put it, equals negative 1 RM. And now I'm just going to uh, get rid of the negative 1 and the M to get that R by itself. So I'll divide by M first, leaving me with HC over M equals negative 1 R. And then I have to undo that negative 1 that's multiplying R. Now, normally we would divide um, it out, but you can also, with negative 1, but negative 1 only, you can multiply by negative 1 as well. Because negative 1 times negative 1 equals positive 1, um, as long as you do it to the right side, you have your answer. And so we end up with negative hc over m equals r. And make sure that you put it in the right direction. You're solving for r, so have that first and we get our answer. 
okay, well, you just learned how to solve uh, equations with variable coefficients, rearrange them, and uh, they can be pretty complicated at times, uh, but they can be really helpful when you're solving um, formulas and things like that. Um, so I hope you uh, got something out of this, and uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.